Okay, so today I'm doing um, some artwork. Um, sorry, my voice is like morning voice for sure. So I have a tapestry that we framed in the living room and I'm gonna take that out and DIY my own canvas and do my own artwork for the living room. I did a mock-up the other day and um, this is what I am going with. This is kind of like my guide since it is such a large piece. I wanted to have some sort of direction. I'm going to be doing my own gesso and making my own canvas. So I'll show you all the steps and the process of doing that. Yeah, I've been wanting to add color into my design for the apartment. I'm trying to challenge myself because, you know, 99% of the time I am a neutral girl. We're just experimenting and I think your own home is the best place to experiment because... You have complete control over what goes in or out. So anyways, let's get started. Um, I'll show you everything I'm using and let you know how the gesso works out and all that jazz. So let's get started. So this is the tapestry that I'm going to be removing and doing the artwork for. It's obviously like a big part of the living room because it takes up that whole side of the fireplace, that wall there. Definitely going to make a statement and let's hope it makes the right one. But yeah. We got this um, from Society6. We always said it kind of looks like a little face, like the smiley face, or the smiles, and then the chin, and the nose, and like, I don't know, the hat or something, or the eye, I don't know. So I've cleared out some space here. I need to vacuum, it's quite dirty. So yeah, we'll take that out and get started on making the gesso and doing the canvas and everything. Okay, so I got all the fabric and the tapestry off the frames. Um, so this one this that I'm holding here is the canvas frame. And this is like the picture frame. So obviously I'm just going to wrap the one. So let's go ahead and do that. So I noticed that my drop cloth has this seam running down the middle. So I'm hoping that I can fit the frame inside of that because I think there's enough space. Sorry if you can hear that dog barking. Our neighbors just got a dog and it's uh, been annoying but whatever. Okay so I'm gonna start on this side here and I'm just gonna basically wrap this around and then staple it down but I think I'll start in the middle and work my way out. I feel like the first side isn't, the first side is mainly just to tack it in place and then you really pull with all your might. And then I'm just gonna cut where this seam is. Make sure we're nice and tacked in here. So I'm gonna pull it in the middle and stretch it. And same thing for the other corner. It's kind of like this, so you just sort of you want to get a nice clean edge around the back here. So you can kind of just fold it and play around with it until it's nice and tight. Wrapped around the edge there. So I'm gonna attempt to make my own gesso and I found a recipe online from 3amgallery.com. I wrote down 
the measurements here. Um, so I'll put the measurements on the screen in case you want to try this. But I'm going to maybe veer a little bit because she says to use acrylic paint and I'm going to be using this primer, which I think is acrylic paint, but I'm not 100% sure. And I only have a little bit left in here. So I'm just going to pour everything into here, mix it up and cross my fingers that this actually works. Okay, so first is one part glue and the parts, I think I'm going to use like half of this as a part. This is um, the little water refill thing for my diffuser, but I never use my diffuser. One part glue, okay, two to three parts water. So I guess I will fill this whole thing up. And that will be two parts. And three parts baking soda. I feel like this is going to be a science experiment. I'm nervous. Doesn't baking soda make things bubble? No, it's not bubbling yet, so... Cornstarch. This paintbrush is like so stiff. I obviously didn't um, clean it out after I had used it, so... Now I'm using it as a stir stick. This is very lumpy. Okay, this is looking good. Can you see that? Uh, I like more glue. Just a hunch I have more glue. <laughs> You're funny. My husband is being funny. All right, oh, it's like burning my eyeballs. Do you think I need more cornstarch or something? It feels really liquidy. Now I'm completely winging it. Should have just bought some. It's expensive though. All right, we're gonna go with this. This feels better. Let me show you what we're, what we're looking like. Definitely liquidy, but it's nice and thick. Definitely coats that fork really well, so. It's looking good. Okay, so I just did a coat of the gesso. I just had enough of it, so I might, it's pretty streaky as you can see, so I think I'm gonna do another batch and do another coat once this dries. So I think my first coat is dry, pretty much. Um, I would say it feels like a little chalky. Well, maybe not, maybe there's just some other, some other spots. Yeah. I just went to the store and I just bought some gesso from the art store and um, this one was pretty affordable. It was only it's under $12. So I was just thinking, I hope that this lasts, like I want this painting to obviously last pretty long. Um, so I figured just going with the store-bought one is probably better than the homemade one for longevity reasons. And I'm going to do another coat because it's kind of patchy, but I'm not going to film that. I'm just going to paint over it and I'll show you when I start actually filming but I just wanted to like make that note that I am going to use a proper store-bought gesso for the second coat and hope that that works and hope it's not weird that I'm doing like two different products um on top of each other but we'll see okay see you soon all right so I cleared out a little corner this is like where the painting would go but I just cleared out the space normally the chair is sitting there but yeah, I can paint over here now and just like leave it up, hopefully. Because I'm imagining this is going to take me a few days, weeks. I don't really know how long a huge painting like this is going to take. But 
I'm getting ready to have a little painting session. I have the apartment to myself tonight, which is very rare, so I'm taking advantage of the opportunity. And I'm gonna get a little creative. Let's paint. Okay, I just wanted to come on here and give a little update of where things are at. And here's the thing. I think I think the red is the wrong red. I want it to be warmer right now. It's very like cherry. I don't think it looks bad. It's just like not exactly what I was going for. Um so yeah, I think I'm going to start over somewhat and kind of go over things and try and get the color matched a bit better. I'm also not feeling great. I think I'm getting sick and my body ache is like aching all over, so we'll see how long this actually lasts, but that's where I'm at. I think the last time I checked in, I was saying how I wasn't feeling great. And yeah, it turns out I had COVID and I still have COVID. So it's been about a week and I've been recovering. Um, I haven't had much energy to do anything. Um, so I'm feeling much better this week and I'm gonna continue painting and see if I cannot finish this. I've done, um, let's see, I did that little yellow spot at the top there. And I'm painting over this shape right now because it's feeling too dark. Um, so I want to brighten that up a little bit. But yeah, I'm feeling much better still um, recovering, but able to do stuff now, which is nice. So let's get painting. <laughs> Thank you. 